Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today, we're going to be looking at the Shadow Pass Switch node. So, we have a masked material, and this masked material is casting a shadow. Pretty basic. So using the Shadow Pass switch, if we plug in the default into there, and we put a zero into the shadow, this is no longer going to be casting a shadow whatsoever. If we were to put one into here, then it's going to cast the shadow of the entire mesh that this is a part of. So with this, you can basically control what shadow is being cast from an object that is masked. So if we wanted to do something funny, we could grab uh, this very nice thumbs up texture and put its alpha into the into the shadow pass switch. And <laughs> we have an object that is the teapots, the, the classic, I don't know what this texture is possibly used for, but on the ground, we have this texture here of me giving a, giving a good old thumbs up with my, my cat shirt on. So, what can this actually be useful for? Something that I use it for, which is kind of, uh, kind of spooky. I have this uh, very spooky enemy. I mean, it doesn't look very spooky when it's in the middle of the desert. But it is a, a shadow that walks around. Maybe he'll walk again, yep. So, you can probably guess how I did this, honestly. Uh, I won't go into it with too much detail. That, that, can, be your, that can be your homework. Uh, is to figure out how I did that. Um, another really useful thing that I use it for, if I grab my character and I just go down here, so, okay, yeah, if I just splatter myself on the ground, and we run over to a tree, you can see the trees are casting shadows, but with my masking occlusion system, the tree becomes transparent. Now, if I wasn't using the shadow pass switch, these shadows would also disappear. Using the shadow pass switch, I'm able to preserve the shadows of the tree whilst making the tree transparent mask using the dither AA node. So to sum it up, the shadow pass switch allows you to put a different mask or a different value into the shadow that's being cast from an object. Uh, it's very useful if you want to simplify the shadows of maybe your leaves, maybe they're sort of jittering around a bit too much. You could put a a solid texture in for the shadow being cast. You can also use it to make things that are transparent or masked out, cast a shadow still. If you found this helpful in any way, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, and if you have any troubles with Unreal Engine at all, check out our Discord. We have people posting in there and getting feedback and getting assistance within like 10 minutes of posting. So. If you are having any troubles at all, we've got a bunch of lovely people that are always happy to help you out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye!